hi hi so you guys i want to do a little bit of skincare i just finished having my bath now so see here you guys i don't know why i went to make this hair i went to make very long braids and i'm regretting it because i don't have the edges for it my edges are not relaxed so they look quite different so <laughs> <laughs> I'm not able to rock my edges. So I'm not able to really rock the hair the way I want to. So what's the point? I feel like I'm going to lose it. Anyway, um, I just finished having my bath. I have um, cleaned my face a little bit with this paper towel. So I use paper towels to clean my face now because they said that towel used to cause acne because it holds germs or bacteria or whatever. So it's good to use the paper towel. So I have one big roll of paper towel in my wardrobe that i use to clean my face every day i just take one sheet like this and just damp my face and just dab my face i don't really clean it to be dry but right now my face is dry because i took a, a while setting up this camera uh, my face is dry now but i'm going to go ahead and just well not so dry sure but i'll go ahead now and do my skincare for today this is vitamin c and ferulic acid um what brand is this because i know someone's going to ask me i've forgotten the name oh. hey what's the name i've forgotten but if I remember, I'll write it on the screen. Yeah, so I just applied vitamin C and hyaluronic acid and my moisturizer during the day. It's at night that I have more extra urishi. Anyway, so how are you guys doing? Um, two days ago, so it's actually Saturday. So two days ago, Sophia did not go to school. So I made her hair and she's looking very beautiful. But that hair took me the whole day plus part of the morning of the next day okay so it wasn't it wasn't funny Unlike her though, unlike the Sophia of before, she actually, you know, wasn't so cranky. I think it got to a point where maybe when her sisters were around and she wanted to just play or she got bored, that was when she now started getting cranky. So I had to give her breaks in between. That's why it took almost all day. And then I finished it up when she was sleeping. Yeah, this is um, hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. I love it. I've used it for years now. So I actually love it. In fact, I used it for years and I felt it wasn't doing anything. I now stopped using it. That's how my forehead became dry. When I say dry, yeah, it became so dry that now I now knew that, okay, it was actually doing something. So it actually just, you know, pulls in moisture into your skin. Um, it's very good for, you know, basically all skin types. Whether you have dry skin, you have oily skin. Because I have dry skin up here and I have oily skin down here. But I use it all over my face. Um... Is really good it helps plump up your skin and you know make you feel good <laughs> let's say make you feel good but that's not what's making my skin glow you is the grace of God It's the glory of God okay <laughs> yeah so um, you guys lately I had to take a not break I don't know I'm, I'm not taking a break but I had to slow down my life a little bit um this is my moisturizer it actually comes in a bigger container but I just put it here so that I don't have to keep taking put dipping my hand into the main container it's not like dipping my hand to do anything I'm sure I don't think I don't know just for ease because I keep all these things inside my fridge so all my skincare products are inside my fridge here I just you know take each batch that I need and use and then put them back so I don't like carrying that whole thing. It's also glass. Okay, this is Elf. Elf Hydro... Holy Hydration. Yeah. Elf Holy Hydration. Um, yeah. As much as I have oily skin, I actually go for really moisturizing and hydrating products because if you have oily skin, when you add enough moisture to your skin, your body doesn't have to produce extra oil to try and moisturize your skin. So that's that right that's what i was told though and i think i think it's true because even though i have oily skin it's no longer as bad as it used to be and then the last thing i'm going to go going with is my sunscreen um yeah so as i was saying i had to slow down my life a bit because um i was doing i was doing so much 
and I wasn't seeing enough progress, okay? Not just YouTube, I mean generally. I was doing so much, I wasn't seeing enough progress, and I, I feel like I got to a stage where I started to not appreciate my present situation, and I just wanted more. I want a new house, basically. That's just how I feel right now. <laughs> a new house in a different location, not even in Portacot. I want a new house in a different location because I'm, I've had it up to here with this black suit. I feel like I complain about black suit in almost every video, and I'm going to keep complaining about it while I'm still in Portacot. doesn't make sense, so let me just stop complaining about it. So yeah, um, this black suit problem has been disturbing me. And then my kid's room, for a while I had neglected it. You guys remember when I did, did over my kid's room, put polka dots for them on the wall, painted, you know, did their room to stush post new nets for them and all of that. Uh, yes, you guys remember, be, eh, it don't spoil. Mm? It has spoil because hand mark, they have used their black suit hands, playing hands to design the walls of their room. Um, Cora tried to remove some of the polka dots, even Eva, even, you know, some other kids, they tried to remove part of the polka dots and I was like, eh, eh, yeah, their room is a little bit not what I want it to be. And I saw myself stressing over it a bit and I felt like, ah, I beg, I beg, I beg, I need to... I need to move. I want to go to a new house in a new place, no black suits, you know, that kind of thing where I can really decorate their room the way I want. I feel like my kids need a bigger room. That's just the truth. They need a bigger room. Um, Ida Cora had, takes the third room, okay? That's Sophia summer room. It's like Cora will take it and then will convert the middle room to, um, will convert their present children's room now to Sophia and Ava's room. Yeah, so I'm using my sunscreen. My sunscreen is this skin aqua. UV super moisture gel, so everything has moisture. And um, yeah, so it's not really feasible right now because Sophia is still too small to really like have her own space. And um, you know, the middle room, uh, Elizabeth stays there and stuff like that. So, anyway, it's not really feasible. So, I saw myself getting frustrated with my present situation and I was like, I want to move, I want to move, I want to new house, I want to get out of this part of I want to. And it's like affecting my mood in general. I wasn't as happy as I used to be or as I, I normally would be. Um, I wasn't as happy. I was just a little bit irritated, okay? And I had to just tell myself, girl, what's, what's wrong with you, okay? The life you have now is some people's dream. The life you had now, or you have now, is your dream, okay? Your, what you used to dream about before is what you have now. Now that you have it, you are dreaming about the next one. You don't even want to sit down and really enjoy what you have, okay? The house that we have, even though, yes, the house needs, is in dire need of painting. My husband said even wanted to paint it, but, you know, he has not really had time to be around because he has to be around when they're painting. It's not me that's going to supervise. I'm not going to supervise. Okay. I don't have that time. I don't have that energy to supervise the painting. He's the one that's going to do it. So he has to be around when they're doing the painting. So anyway, we've got some quotation for paint and all of that. But um, I was really just getting frustrated. So after reminding myself, I now told myself, you know what? Let me just try and control what I have. Because I heard somewhere, or did I read it somewhere, that one of the major keys to, to happiness is to blame yourself for everything, okay? Stop blaming other people. Don't say, oh, it's what I call black suit. Oh, it's the house. Oh, it's the husband. Oh, it's the, this one. No, 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 no. Blame yourself for it or... Not, okay, let us, let's not call it blame yourself. Hold yourself responsible or take charge of things around you and then you're going to be better for it, okay? So I decided to take charge and do what I normally used to do, which is basically go and arrange my kids' room my, myself because whenever I leave it for people to arrange, it's never the same. It's never the same. It's... I will arrange it perfectly today, but over time, it's going to deteriorate and turn to something else. So, I went to my kids' room yesterday, I sorted out all their clothes, I arranged it to the best of my ability.
perfect. It's not by any means close to what I really want. It's not close to my vision. But I had to just tell myself that it's good enough. Okay, so I'm actually happy with the way their room is now. I'm going to... I made a mental note to be, be more involved in arranging stuff around the house because I actually stopped. That's the truth. I actually stopped because I didn't like the way the house was. I just I, you see that my office, once I arrange that my office, I'm good. The rest of the house can be burning. God forbid, it cannot be burning, it cannot be burning. But the rest of the house can be upside down. As long as I'm in my room, my office is, you know, perfect. I'm good. You know, it's not even like it's perfect too, but at least I'm happy with that room. So... It has been helping me to be more centered and more happy. Once I just enter my, enter my room and put on my candle and watch TV, I feel good. I feel great. But I now started neglecting the rest of the house as well. So now I've told myself that I'm going to be more involved in organizing the rest of the house, especially my kids' rooms. And those places that usually annoy me, I'm going to take my time and actually arrange them myself. So places that annoy me a lot is kitchen, the store, my kids' room, my office, and my bedroom, okay? Basically, that's the rest of my house. But yeah, I don't really care about the living room because yeah, we don't really have much there. And on purpose, we don't want to decorate it so much. So I don't really care about the living room. I don't really care about, you know, the visitor's room. I don't really care about laundry. Nah, I don't really care. But you see those places I call, there are places that really bother me. I like things to be a certain way. So I'm going to be more involved in arranging them. And that's what I did. So right now, my kids' room is looking good. Um, goodish. Good enough <laughs> for now. And my room is looking okay as well. So. <laughs> that's the latest YouTuber in town. <laughs> Cheese. 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 <laughs> this girl is so smart. Sophia, are you a YouTuber? Cheese. Hello? Hi, Sophia. Let's clean Sophia's nose. No, I don't worry, let me clean it. <laughs> I'm gonna subscribe it for you. I'm disturbing you, Abby, so you want to go away. I'm disturbing you, Abby. <laughs> You guys, when I went to Dubai, I actually went into Lego shops. I went into different... I went to Lego, Lego store. I think I went there like four different times. But one person I forgot to buy for is me. I should have bought Lego for myself, okay? Because I'm enjoying it so much. Yesterday, 
um, I had to, yesterday for the first time, I decided to do the kids Lego with them. And I now realized that so many pieces we are missing because one day their father allowed them to play with Lego alone. I don't know how he thought that was a good idea, but he gave them the Lego to go and play with. And so many parts are missing. And that Lego is not even age appropriate for Ava. So it's even Ava that even misplaced some of those parts because she just put everything on the ground, opened everything and just started, you know, playing with it. So I think that some parts rolled into other places and then the cleaner came and cleaned and swept it off because she doesn't know what it is and she doesn't care. <laughs> so anyway, let me not start getting uh, frustrated again. So anyway, uh, yeah, because of it, it really annoyed me, but... I just started doing it myself. I, tried, I, was, I actually started doing it to try and find the missing parts. But then I enjoyed it so much. So today, I'm going to do the one for Encanto. The other one yesterday was Rapunzel and Belle. I'll do the one for Encanto today. And then I'm going to look for how to buy Lego for myself. Yes, I'm going to order it on Amazon. Anyway, um, yeah, so I really enjoyed playing with the Lego. So what I did now is I fixed the Lego up. And then I, I left it for them to actually play with like yours. Play with the Lego the way it is. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to make it. Just play with the Lego. Do the drama and everything. So once they were done, I packed it up and kept it. So yeah, that's it about my yesterday evening. That's what I did yesterday evening. So today I'm going out. Okay, so I'm going to be changing very soon. I don't even know why I just wore this because I'm about to leave actually. Yeah, it's already 1.15. I need to go and help Nelo to cook. Um, not help her to cook. We're going to go and keep her company while she cooks for us because she's hosting games night today, girls' games night. I'm really excited about it, even though I'm not feeling too well. I don't want to go into the details of why I'm not feeling too well, but I'm not feeling too well. I don't really want to go, but I just want to go because it's something fun and something I'm looking, I've been looking forward to before the devil came to come and put hand. Anyway, so yeah, I'll be going for that um, games night today and that's what my Saturday is going to be looking like. Um, after the games night, tomorrow is church and, you know, we'll be back to our normal routine. Yeah. So, um, let me just, you guys see what I was talking about, my edges. My edges look terrible. Like, I don't even know why I just did this hair. I should just losing this I'm going to brush the edges, so it's not like I won't brush it. I'll brush it, I'll try and gel it and all of that. But I, to be honest, I'm not really in the mood for all of that. Um, yeah, aside that, I'm good. Let me go and change. And then we'll go for the girls' night. 